All right, guys, this is it. Until you guys try this, you will never know how much this will get your chest on fire after this pyramid chest workout. Before I kind of continue, like, I kind of want to say that this setup of this playing background, which I have a poster or a canvas that will go up there next video most likely, um, this is more for, like, correctional statements. So my intention is for this to be more like a professional scene. And yeah, that, that's pretty much a quick explanation of that. And today's video is going to be about literally four chest workouts that will destroy your chest. And it's, in other words, how to get insane chest results, right? So yeah, and it's just, it's just four. Like, and if you watch my core video, then it was literally just two exercises. And if you guys truly tried it, then you will know that I was right because <laughs> Those two ab exercises are killer and they're insane and you get your core on fire. So, four chest workouts that get your chest on fire, how to get insane chest results, right? In the workout regimen that I created for myself, this week alone was strictly chest. So, what that means is like, I, I hit chest more than like any other group. So, like, I hit chest with legs two times this week. So, it's chest and legs week, but um, for the sake of this video, it was chest week. I was targeting mid to lower chest. The three exercises beforehand is to work up to the end or the last workout, which is a um, regular barbell bench press pyramid, which um, is insane. And if you've never heard of it, then you've probably never tried it either. So you should give it a try and let me know how it goes. Cause I know that this will get you guys some insane chest results that you guys are hopefully looking for. So which is why you guys are watching me. So so starting off, as you guys see here, I am hitting 35 pound dumbbells for dumbbell bench press, right? So the main goal was to open up the ch like your chest muscles, right? So your mid to lower chest this is what it's mainly focused on, right? So to do this, I went for weights that are about a four out of 10 on like, let's say a weight difficulty scale. So, um, so whatever that is for you, you can start off with that. So, like I said, th like this first workout is strictly just to open up, um, open up your muscles, right? And, and to get a lot of blood flow in those areas that you are targeting on that day. Yeah, just to clarify again, I did 35s, three sets of 10. So moving right along to the regular barbell bench press, finally, right? So to again, clarify, the end result is to hit a mass amount of volume for regular barbell bench press so as you can see here like this is actually the second set but here i am pushing 35s on each side and in regard to form i lower the barbell to just below the pectoral line so along with this i lift only my chest region slightly just above my shoulder line to engage my lats to put and to push it back up right once i push back up i bring my chest region back down onto the bench and I hyper extend my arms to get that maximum amount of squeeze for your chest. So again, this is right after your dumbbell bench press, right? So we're still working on that blood flow, loosen up those muscles for the end result. Also, the first set, I actually hit 25s. Um, 25s aren't that much for me. 35s is my second set, the clip you guys just saw. Also not that much for me, right? Um, 45s is when it starts to hit me, right? And so like, that was my fourth set, 45s, right? Um, and if you guys have been following my Instagram, that then you know that I have been cutting. And if you saw my video of me intermittent fasting, talking about it, shopping for like ingredients for making meals for intermittent fasting, then you know that I'm cutting. So <laughs> I've lost a substantial amount of strength and my max is actually two plates, so 225. So like I said, um, one plate on each side is not that much for me. Getting right into the next clip, you see me about to hit 30 on each side of this incline barbell press. And so now if you watch carefully as I bring down the barbell to just below my pectoral line, I bring out my chest, right? So note, my shoulders actually stay on the bench. That's very important. So as I try to raise the barbell back up, there are two things to take notice. Before I push up, it may be hard to tell, but my core moves a little. This is actually me squeezing to give all my strength back into my lats. 
to bring my arms lateral with my body and to then transfer it from my lats to my triceps and chest muscles, right? So, and again, bringing it back to the top, I hyperextend as well to get the extra squeeze in the upper portion of your chest. And when I talk about lateral, right? So whenever you're inclined, right? You're here and you got your, your barbell, right? And you come down and this is a little bit deeper. So I go a little bit deeper. This is past lateral. Your arm is past your body. So you're not parallel, you're not, not lateral. A little bit slurring, right? So what I mean when I, I squeeze my core when I'm here, so past lateral, right? And again, my shoulders are on the bench. So same when it's here, my elbows are on the bench, right? So once I'm here, I squeeze my core. And once I hit lateral, and so once I'm here, I'm squeezing and I can feel it here in my core because obviously you have way here. And right here, you're squeezing your core, right? With your weight here and your, el your arms past lateral, right? And you squeeze and you're squeezing with your lats. And once you hit lateral, that's when it transfers from your lats to your tricep and then to your chest, right? So you go up. And so that's what happens whenever you squeeze your core. That helps with that process, with that movement. And that's very important. So, and again, going back to the top, I keep saying it again. I, I hyperextend for many reasons. And the main reason I do it is to get that extra squeeze. It's very important, especially if you want muscle growth. Even while you're cutting. Even while cutting, like it, it's possible. And I'm an example of it, honestly. I truly am. Once you guys see my transformation video, you'll be like, wow. All right, guys, this is it. Until you guys try this, you will never know how much this will get your chest on fire after this pyramid chest workout. So as you guys are watching right now, I have already started on my first set of the pyramid chest workout. <laughs> yeah, the workout that you guys have been waiting for, been watching to see right so as you can see there's tens and i start laughing right here honestly because the guy started walking in the way or walked in the way right um but yeah no I, my recorder didn't think it was that funny i don't think he noticed honestly that i was laughing but um yeah the main point for each of these steps is to go as many reps as possible and the only break that there is is you moving the weights right putting the weights on putting the clip on for both like on each on each side right so, and honestly, I like ideally you would have two people um, while you're doing this. So it's a little bit faster, a little bit more of a burn effect. But honestly, um, you're going to be, your chest is going to be on fire, right? Um, obviously, you got to make sure you have your form down constantly, right? That's always key. You can't do this without having proper form, technique, breathing, everything. It's all important. So, um, yeah, and... As you guys notice here, all of these like clips, I don't have music. Like this is actually really difficult for me because um, I don't know if you guys know like or like lift with music, but it makes a difference. So um, yeah, th like this is like rare when I lift without music. But um, as you can see now, I have 30 pounds on each side, and honestly, I'm not counting the reps. I just punched the mic, but um, yeah, no, like uh, I mean, you guys keep track but like i said you got to go all out like you go as many reps as possible i yeah um yeah also as you can see i didn't put the clips back on because i'm pretty confident in my form and technique and all that and all that stuff right so but uh yeah now now there's 40s my chest is on fire at this point as you can see from that death stare toward the barbell right and the struggling aspect of that one rep that massive one rep, right? And so this is very key. This is very interesting. This is what makes it interesting is the fact that you dropped to 20s. Like you can go back down the ladder, like back down the pyramid, but this is a little bit of a twist. Like the week before, like when I did one chest workout that week, I, w I did all the steps, but this week I jumped, right? So I jumped down. So yeah, now I have 20s and as you saw on the first time I did 20s, I did, I'm i pretty sure I did at least double that amount. But um, yeah, no, I didn't get that many on the last one because I was dying, right? Well, my chest was dying, like obviously figuratively, right? 
But um, yeah, your chest will be on fire. Like, and if you don't believe me, you gotta try it, right? And if you guys tried the core workout that I show you, literally just two core workouts, they're a little bit more advanced. I will come out with a workout video for core that is very simplified. So I know those two were complicated and a little bit more advanced. I understand that. I will come out with something a little bit more basic and simple and to the point. But yeah, those two were a little bit more advanced. So, um, and there's nothing wrong with not being able to do those two workouts. But um, yeah, this bench press, killer. Gets your chest on fire. All right, so I'm sure you all are already commenting and are going to comment, oh, you have your feet on the bench, right? There's a very good reason for that, and this is kind of like my disclaimer for it. Um, going through this transformation like that I'm doing when I'm cutting, and like it shows a lot of the faults that I have in terms of my posture, and that's what I'm fixing right now. So um, like I have a an anterior pelvic tilt. So um, so if I put my feet on the ground, like my like I won't. My, like my back won't be flat essentially is what I'm saying. Um, I'm not gonna get up and show it because it will be in my transformation video. Um, so stay tuned for that. Hey. Um, but uh, yeah, like I have an anterior pelvic tilt and I'm fixing it. And which is why I keep constantly talking about posture, how posture is everything, your technique and your form and any workout is important is for that factor because it's terrible trying to fix it. It honestly is, it's such a long process and I'm still fixing it to this day, right? And it's taken me months. And like, it's not easy to fix. So that's why I have my feet up and um, to try to keep my back as flat as possible. And quite frankly, you lose strength like putting your feet up. So I mean, 45s with your feet up on the bench, like you don't have your feet, like whenever you bench press normally, you're supposed to push off with your feet as well, which for some people, it's a very controversial topic, but like people bend their back, right? I don't want that because obviously, like I just said, I have an anterior pelvic tilt. I, I've never tried to bend my back, but like I came into lifting with that tilt. So I have no choice to try to fix it now. So, but uh, yeah, that's my disclaimer. And if you guys are interested, make sure you comment down below if you want to see how to fix your form, your posture, any of that stuff even more science and more of an explanation behind anterior pelvic tilt because what I just said was a little bit broad, right? And very basic. And um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, it's four workouts to destroy your chest, how to get better chest results, whatever you want to call it, right? Four exercises, nothing can go wrong. And this was all under within like 40 minutes. So even better, like if you don't have an hour or more, then this is a workout for you. So with that said, if you guys enjoyed, comment down below, whatever you would like. You can critique me. You can give me a lot of crap about me putting feet on my bench. Cool. Like, sure, I'll take it. But I already made my point. I already made my case. But uh, yeah, comment down below, whatever you want to see. Make sure you, if you like the video, like the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Have a good day, guys, and peace.